All right, guys, today we are going to remove one of the ugliest pieces of all time on my Harley Sportster Iron 1200. All right, everybody, what is up? What is up, as always? Thanks for stopping by to another video today. As you can see, we are taking a look at my Harley Sportster iron 1200 and if you guys have been tuning in for a while you guys know that i'm on the pursuit of turning this thing into a little bit of a sportster bobber style bike so we've done some simple things so far like drop the handlebars remove the fender remove some other simple plastic pieces back here just kind of starting to strip it down a little bit and the next piece of that today is finally removing one of the ugliest things that has been on this bike for a while now that I have been needing to get removed ever since I dropped the bars and took the fairing off. And that piece that we're gonna remove today is finally this big headlight bolt right here. We're actually gonna remove the entire headlight brow. So this bolt right here, I actually noticed that it's here when I put my Memphis Shades Cafe fairing on a long time ago. If you guys remember, the stock Iron 1200 comes with that black plastic speed screen right here. And this piece actually holds a bracket that then holds that speed screen. So if you take that speed screen off like I did, what you're going to be left with is this ugly, ugly bolt sticking up out of the headlight brow right here. If you ever had the Iron 883, you didn't have to worry about it. This is all covered up right here. You don't have the bolt because there was no speed screen. So this thing was just here to kind of hold that speed screen bracket in place. And when I removed it, obviously it exposed it. I never took it off and never changed it really because the Memphis Shades Cafe fairing really kind of covered up the whole front area there and I couldn't really see it. But obviously since we took it off now you can see it and it's super ugly so we're going to get that cleaned up by removing this whole brow housing right here that holds the headlight so what we're going to replace it with is this headlight mounting bracket right here which is going to remove the brow this is going to mount to the riser bolts right up underneath here so this whole thing will get removed the headlight will then mount to this and give us a little bit more hopefully of a clean look this will be the first time that i'm putting it on obviously i will see it with you guys we'll see if we like the finished product once we have it on there so of course, before we get started, if you guys have any experience changing out your headlight mounting or your headlight brackets or anything, if there's anything else out there too that I wasn't able to locate, if there's any other good brackets out there, let me know because once we get this one on and we see we take a look at it, it's possible I might even still change it out from there. But drop it down in the comments. Let me know any experience you guys have changing out your headlights, your brackets, your mounting, all that stuff. And if there's any other options you guys think I should be looking at after we get this one mounted up, if we don't like it, drop it down in the comments to let me know I will certainly take a look at it alrighty guys so the first thing I want to do is start to loosen up this big bolt this is actually what's holding the actual headlight in place so we want to be careful as we start to loosen this up because it will start to fall out Alright, so we've got it to where we're hand tight now. We're just going to hand loosen it all the rest of the way out. You're going to see the headlight really start to loosen up here. We want to hold it to make sure that it doesn't fall down to the bottom. We will gently let this just hang safely right here. And then you've got a couple washers that we're going to want to remove out of the headlight brow itself. All right, so next steps, we're going to remove the brow itself that's held on by your Allens here. We're going to grab our Allen key, get these loosened up. All right, we've got these hand loose now. We will finish them up, pull the hardware off to the side. All right, so now with the brow totally removed, the next steps is gonna be removing the riser bolts because the bracket is hopefully gonna slide right into place there and mount up with those bolts. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we've got the bracket kind of mocked up here. I will say probably might need an extra set of hands once you have the actual risers out of the forks here. It gets a little difficult to get this kind of lined up with uh, this thing flopping around. But our next steps, all we're going to have to do is get these bolts tightened up. Then we're going to place the headlight right here and see how it looks. All 
Alrighty, so now you can see that we've got the bracket fully tightened up and in place. And again, that just gives you a little look. The riser bolts are just going to go right up through there. Fits perfectly with the riser bolt holes. Just make sure you have everything evenly tightened down before we move on to this next step. Bars, risers, everything are nice and tight. So the headlight itself is actually going to fit right down into that spot there. And then next up, we're just going to take our washer and our nut, start to tighten this thing up. Alrighty guys, so I think we are nice and tightened down here. Might have to make a few adjustments along the way as we go. Maybe see how it's sitting in there. We might have to give it a little tilt left or right, but we'll make some of those adjustments as we go and see what's needed. But that's going to give you a look from the front right there, cleaned up with no brow. So then let's also take a look at it and see what it's going to look at from the side. So of course, again, we've got the headlight brow removed, kind of strips all that down, clears all that out. Yeah, I do need to do a little bit of cleaning up. Again, I've said this before, like the wires and everything. I think we'll be able to take care of some of that when we do the wire tuck, pull them a little bit tighter so they're not kind of all bunched up, get them organized and lined up and tuck them under the tank. But for now, I think this kind of accomplished what I was looking for. Again, just wanted to get rid of that big bolt sticking out. Wanted to get rid of that brow, kind of strip down the front end. So give another look from the side. Looks pretty good. It does look like it's pointing a little bit straight up. I don't know if we might have to do a little bending of that bracket there. Maybe bend it, heat it up and bend it down so it's pointing a little bit more towards the road. But I don't really ride at night a whole lot anyways. If I do, it's around the city. It's all pretty much lit up every th everywhere with the city lights and stuff. So don't think we'll have to worry too much about that. But So that is what we have with the new bracket for now. Again, just a recap of that. We're taking the headlight brow off, taking the light out, taking that bracket, put it right up against the triple tree with the riser bolts. It sits right in there, got it nice and tightened up. And that's what it's going to look like. And again, like I said, for future states, some stuff we want to do is we want to get these wires and stuff cleaned out. It looks a little clunky for now with all these wires up here, but this is just one step. I think we might also look for a black headlight trim ring to kind of keep the black look. I think that would look a lot better than this kind of like chrome silver one. So that might be another option as well, putting a black headlight trim ring around this also. So it's a pretty nice day out. We might as well pull it out and go for a uh, quick ride. Make sure we got everything tightened up and locked down. Gives you kind of another look at the headlight with no brow there. Just a clean, open headlight. We'll check it out from the other side. Looks pretty good. I do think I like it. Like I said, the only thing is we just got to get these wires cleaned up. Maybe throw some black trim around there and I think we'll be good to go. Let's hop on and take a quick little ride. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Just another simple little step in the Sportster Bobber transformation. Just switching up the look of the front headlight there. I wanted to get some of that cleaned up. And again, like I mentioned, if you guys have any recommendations out there for any other headlight options, feel free to let me know. Drop them down in the comments. I'd be open to take a look at any other options out there. This was just kind of the first one that I had located on Amazon that was pretty simple and pretty cheap so i went with it and i like it i think it'll serve its purpose but like i said if you have any other ones out there feel free to let me know and i think really the big next step is a new exhaust on here i've been talking about a new exhaust at some point obviously that's one that's a little bit more of the uh heavier investment a little more money involved with a, a new exhaust obviously so that was taking a little bit longer but i think that'll be coming up next on the list and like i said if there's any other you know kind of like bobber aesthetic type things you guys think i should do to this feel free to drop them down in the comments and of course let me know i am pretty happy with how everything has gone so far and again a lot of this is just very basic simple stuff and i don't plan on doing anything like too crazy to it i know you see some like real radical type of builds like on instagram and youtube and stuff like that i'm not going to go too radical with it I'm, I'm just stripping some stuff off changing some stuff up turning it into a little bit more of that like around town sportster bobber type bike and it's crazy i hate to say that because you guys know that i have taken this thing all over the place i mean the thing's got freaking 18,500 some miles on it so it definitely gets ridden i rode a lot did a lot of traveling but Obviously now the Street Bob 114 is a little bit more of my like long distance traveling type bike. I actually just finished up an 800 mile round trip ride 
on that bike and it handled it perfectly man it was so smooth so good and the whole time i was kind of wondering like am i ever going to do anything like that with the sportster again like i mean if i do it might be out of like necessity if like for some reason the street bob doesn't start or i don't know if it's in the shop for whatever reason and it would be interesting if i do do that because even just changing the handlebars really kind of turns it into quite a different riding experience and a very different bike i was thinking about it while i was doing that ride with the street bob and i'm like man having that a little bit more downward angle on the lower bars like this might wear you out after a while also i don't have the fairing on it i'd be taking a lot of wind but <laughs> We'll see i might just do it just to see what it's like take it out for maybe like a, a whole weekend trip put 700 800 miles on it or something i've done it before maybe a sportster bobber travel video once we have this thing dialed in and locked up the way we want it man i love this thing <laughs> But I do think that is all we got for now. Again, just wanted to give you guys some insight into that little bit of a headlight swap there. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about that, feel free to drop them down there in the comments section and let me know. I will be sure to address any of those. But as always, that's going to wrap this one up for now. If you guys like anything we got going on here, make sure you go ahead and like this video, drop a comment down there, and be sure to subscribe to the channel to see some of our next updates to the Sportster Bobber transformation that we have going on here. As always, ride safe out there. Make it a good one, guys. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all down the road. Peace.